The record breaking Mercedes W10. What a day for Mercedes! The first car in F1 history to score a 1 2 in the opening five races of the season. And for the fifth time in a row, it's a Mercedes 1 2. Seven front row lockouts in 2019. It has led more than half the total laps completed this season. Taking Mercedes to six consecutive Drivers' and Constructors' World Championships, a feat never achieved by a team in the history of Formula One. Earlier this month, I got the opportunity to drive this very car. But first, there was a trip to Brackley to make sure that I was comfortable in the car and also spend a bit of time in the simulator to learn the systems. And then, off to Silverstone for my big day. So I'm strapped in, the guys have put the tyres on with the blankets, um, the car is going to get fired up and then away I go for an installation lap. So just a system check, get everything a little bit warm. It's a cold day today at Silverstone, it's only 8 degrees so it's, uh, it's going to take a little while to get everything up to temperature. Radio check, radio check, loud and clear. Right, the engine's fired up, into first gear. Okay, so we go to one, press one, press one, press one, one. Okay, just doing the insulation lap now. The car feels so together. We're all wet just to build up a bit of temperature. Just a beautifully built car. There's no rattling, there's no strange vibrations. You feel at one, the whole car feels so at one. So we've done the installation laps now, we've taken the wets off, we're going to put some slick tyres on it. We've changed some of the settings for, for this next run. So typically with the morning cars, with the hybrids, you need to charge it up on the out laps as well as the in lap before you come into the pits and then you get that chunk of running in the middle where you can use the full deployment. So uh, yeah, there's a lot more complexities involved with these hybrid cars compared to the V8s. Switch the engine to Strat 6, this should now give me full power. The drivability is unbelievable of this engine. Mercedes has been the benchmark in terms of traction, and I can see why. I just can't believe how good this is at the high thing. This is just immense. Oh, you bought this car! End of the first run. That's just blown away. Oh my god, that was just incredible. I mean, the car's got so much grip. In the fast corners, I can keep turning the wheel and the front end just go. A real eye-opener into what a truly amazing car can do. I'll tell you what, I'll be lucky to drive six world championship winning cars in my career. But this is just the best race car I have ever driven. This car is just so beautifully balanced. It took nearly a thousand people to do 7,000 bespoke drawings for this car. It took them 16 months to design it. But my God, have they designed a beast. Box, box, box. Thank you, Mercedes. Thank you. That was just an incredible experience. My God.
Thank you very much, everybody. Really, really enjoyed that. Thank you. That was just unbelievable. I could not believe how good the car was on the brakes, into slow speed and traction. In the high speed, I expected it to be good, but it was the traction and the slow speed that was just immense. Fantastic experience.